Hey everyone, my name's Silver. Welcome back to the channel and today guys, we got news. As always, I'm going to be bringing it to you first, hopefully, maybe. But guys, like I said, we have news. And guys, it is the next character booster, the Galaxy Stride Gate. Guys, this is character set 3 of the Stride Gate and I am super excited for the stuff. Let's start off with what's on the cover. We got our Xeroth Dragon here, which looks kick butt. We'll go over its name in a second. We have a new Messiah unit. We have a new Victor unit and a new Grand Gallop unit. So guys, what the set is gonna probably entail is support for Victor, Messiah, Xeroth Dragon, and Gallop. I'm expecting there to be a new Gallop unit. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be a bad guy, but it looks like Bushiro sticking to their seven card packs so, or 17 cards per pack, or 7 cards per pack. Wow, I can't speak today. 7 cards per pack, 16 packs. A box. Or 12. I don't know how these character boosters are going to work. So, let's get into what we can see. Right away, we have Xeroth Dragon, Dragon of the Star Funeral Stark. So, we don't know anything about this besides it being an ultimate stride. The art looks really, really kick butt, like I said earlier. I see bits of Link Joker, I see bits of Novas and Dimension, and oh my god, guys, I'm super excited for this. So I feel like this will be the strongest out of all of the Xeroth Dragons. My reason for that is is, is the Stargate has three clans that I can think of off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure it's only three. Let me just double confirm that. But I will tell you why in one second. Sorry, I was not prepared to think this hard. Um, I guess, uh, here, let's look it up. Google Stargate Clans. All right, so the Stargate, all right, I was, okay, this doesn't matter, sorry. So I was right, um, so it has, it looks, to, it has components of all. Why do I think this will be the most powerful? Well, I'm assuming it's gonna have some sort of lock mechanic behind it, restand mechanic, dimension please bust power bonus, and a burst, sorry, not bust, well, it's busted, and delete. That's right, guys, I theorize that this card is gonna house not only lock, but delete. And some of you might be asking why, but it's a Stargate unit. So, um, let's let's look at it like this. It's skill I want to theorize on is it's probably gonna be when this unit strides you may pay the cost. If you do, your opponent chooses X number of cards from hand, calls to max rear guard, locks them, and then remainder cards go to the banished delete zone. So it works out well. Um, at the end of a at the end of your at the end of the battle that your vanguard attacked, stand all your rear guards. X power to rear guards for whatever X reason, maybe the number of lock cards your opponent has. And if five or more rear guards stood and five or more rear guards are locked, stand this unit and um, stand your vanguard, give it a minus drive check, and attack, and you get to attack again. And that would be like a once per turn auto on stride. And I honestly can see this being the thing because remember these are finisher cards and that's major to the game like you have to think of the Link Joker clan itself utilizes a lot of decent stuff and Xeroth Dragon is not only Link Joker but you have to think Messiah, Deleters, at least Victor if not something else and um one other thing oh yeah grand gallop but overall that's my theory on this card that it's gonna have some sort of lock vanish delete power gain and restand ability or the rear guards are at least gonna restand and again it's a finisher so it's believable you're meant to end the game with that but let's move on so there's nothing else really in the list we have cards reconfirmed so we're getting photon this is a, I was going to do a video and I have yet to do it, but we're getting com, composite star, Vader, star, star, Vader, photon. 
And the only one we needed this card like severely bad. Unfortunately, the set doesn't look like it's going to come out until next year. That also means we're not going to probably see it until around February or the end of January. So if you're playing Deleters now, or not Deleters, if you're playing Chaos, you need this unit now. Unfortunately, that's the best I can tell you. Um, but yeah, it's a good card. It only had two prints, a Trial Deck print and a Legion Rare print. But you could also, if you're in Japan, which I honestly wish we had gotten this Trial Deck or whatever, the Movie Booster... You could have gotten it from there. So there was only two prints. So Butcher Pro or three prints for them in Japan. So you probably thought it wasn't necessary at the time. But it definitely is. We're also getting a reprint of the Critical Trigger for Grand Gallop. A reprint of the Critical Trigger for um, for Nova's Victor. And we're getting a Critical Trigger for Deleter's reprint. Which should have honestly been in the last set. But at the same time, I have like a hundred of these cards. I'm not really... I don't think a reprint was really necessary for this. But again, that's just my opinion. Tell me what you guys think. Did this card need a reprint? I feel like... Let, what's it? So let's go to... Let's go here. If it will load. My computer's been slow. So we'll continue while we wait for that tab to load. Oh, never mind. It's loaded. So let's just do a quick Google search on this. I know, guys, this is sort of improvised last second, but I wanted to get this news out because I've yet to actually YouTube to see if it's there. But Biting Deleter, what is its current price? It is at 11 cents. We didn't need a reprint. I might as well just buy up all the stock now and then later on sell them for like $5 because that's what people do. I'm, But don't do that. Don't. Don't be that guy. This card price jumps. I'm going to be very sad at whoever did this. But we're also... So we're getting three reprints of the triggers. We're also getting the grade one reprinted. For both Grand Gallop and for... Um, Victor. Which is really nice. We're also getting a reprint of the Server Tempress. Server Tempest, the promo, which I'm pretty sure I have a bunch of cards already. And I don't think we needed um, two, another reprint of him so soon, but we might have. I'm not going to Google his price because we're sort of in a rush here on a time restraint. So we scroll back up. Let's look at all this wonderful info. The set will include 76 cards, 1 Z Rare, 3 Generation Rare, 6 Triple Rares, 12 Double, 1, uh, 21 Single Rares, and... 33 commons plus special plus 12 SPs, which is really good. We're going to have 72 new cards and four reprints, which I think just looking at this list, we already have more than four reprints. Although we only have three confirmed right now, so we're going to get another one. And um, each pack will include seven cards. Some packs will have two double rares or one double rare, one triple plus one double, but never two triples, which is said it includes, again, Nova's Dimension Police, Link Joker's. It also includes the following triple rares of these, so this isn't going to be as common as we'd like. I also saw on Facebook somewhere that we're getting a new Chaos unit and a new um one other unit. Um, I don't really have time to edit, so yeah, I'm not going to go on Facebook now, but I'll go over that more tomorrow. But guys, set. Character set 3 is here, and I feel like we're going to get a lot of great stuff out of this. Um, as I've been stating, I have a theory that Messiah is going to get much, much stronger. I mean, just looking at this card art right now at the Messiah unit, I see some really interesting art going on here. And, yeah, I don't know what else really to say. We're about at our 10 minute mark that I'm trying to keep this under. So guys, tell me what you think down in the comments below. Let me know if anyone else is doing this. I've been the Silver Wolf. I will see you all next time. Have a wonderful evening. Peace.